What's up guys? Uh, so it's Ben here and we're just gonna be going through Penn campus. I wanted to show you guys what campus life looked like. And as you can see, it's pretty green. Uh, right now, it's around June or so. And I think hopefully in the fall, everything will be like very autumn-like. Autumn and I'll show you guys what that looks like later on in the year. Um, but yeah, wanted to go through some cool spots. Hope you guys find it fun and enjoyable. And if you're from Penn, let me know if there's anything I missed. So we're gonna go into the Fisher Library and I've actually never been inside. So uh, apparently it looks pretty nice. So um, let's see what it looks like. I don't know where the entrance is. All right, so fun fact about me actually, my mom named me after Benjamin Franklin because she really liked him for whatever reason. So that's like my English name. And I guess uh, it's kind of like coming full circle in my life in a little way because um, Penn was always where I wanted to go for undergrad the most. And my mom named me after like its founder. And now I'm here for MBA. And there's like this big statue thing over here I want to show you guys. I don't really know. I don't really know exactly what it is, but um, maybe I'll find out in the next few years. But yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we have a statue of Ben Franklin yet again, and uh, or mention of him again in this video. And fun fact about this, apparently, and this is what just someone told me, so hopefully I'm not like spreading something that's false, but after you graduate, a lot of people like late at night, especially guys, or pretty much guys, they apparently piss on him. That was like a celebration of some sort. Um, but that's a little fun fact. Hopefully it's true because that's just what I was told. So apparently this is a really nice looking building and kind of, I don't even know what kind of architecture maybe, but it kind of reminds me of Hogwarts a little bit. Um, hopefully the inside is also really nice. Let's go inside to see what it looks like. I guess it's just like a pretty standard um, administrative building. Yeah, I've only been here a few weeks, so I don't really know that much about like all the buildings and stuff. And uh, by the way, I'm wearing a suit because we had like a class photo. Normally for MBA, you don't need to wear a suit. Uh, that's not like a requirement or anything. Um, so if you're wondering why I'm wearing a suit. That's the staircase. <laughs> Alright, let's see what the bathrooms look like. Let's see if they like look super nice or not. Pretty standard, nothing special. So we're walking towards the buildings for MBA students right now. And this is kind of, uh, I actually don't walk this way um, to my classes, but uh, I do like walk this way that, or the other way for food sometimes. So I do kind of see this view that you guys are hopefully seeing uh, fairly often and yeah so far Penn um, I've been here for about a few weeks and I would say that it's been a pretty eye-opening experience just meeting a lot of people from so many different tracks uh, like uh, or so many different cultures so there's 24 countries represented in our class of like 72 everyone speaks a foreign language um, everyone's kind of from all over the world and everyone also has different career experiences as well. They come from like consulting, banking, buy side, uh, entrepreneurship, engineering, and so just a ton of diversity overall. And um, yeah, I feel like I've been just learning the most from some of the conversations I've had with people. So I've met people who were Mormon, for example. I've never really spoken in depth with Mormons before and one is actually in my uh, track. And so there's like five of us who are pretty close. Um, after like meeting each other over the past few weeks and so getting to learn more about like religion from his perspective is always a very interesting conversation and I met other people who uh, let's say were from Russia and obviously Russia Ukraine is such a huge topic right now and I think it's really interesting hearing about um, Russia from a Russian person's perspective and then I met people from South America and also from Africa so just like so many different types of people um, that's why I think the lotter program so far has been pretty cool and uh, so yeah this is kind of where I spend a lot of my time actually um, this building is here right over hopefully you can see it over there 
is uh, where we had our class photo, actually. I mentioned earlier that I was wearing this um, suit for our photo, and we had it right there. And uh, that's where I have like my regional history class. And um, there we learn about like Southeast Asia and uh, East Asian history. And then we're walking now towards the kind of more uh, lauder, or towards our lauder building. Like for our program, we have like our own building. So I'll show you guys what that looks like later. It's a bit of a walk from here though. And um, this kind of view is what I see pretty much every day. It's uh, basically my, my walk to class. So yeah, let's, let, uh, let me just now go show you what the lauder building looks like. All right, so now we're at the lauder building and that's where I have a lot of my classes. And I think it's actually also supposed to kind of be like a home base for lauder students because right now in the beginning, like pre preterm, where we're just like 72 students and we're all meeting together and like taking classes together for the, for the uh, first few months. And then in the fall, we have like seven, 800 more Wharton students come. So it gets like really hectic to just be on campus with everyone. So it's nice to have like our own building where we can meet like our fellow classmates and then also like bump into people we haven't seen in, in a while or just make new connections or just have, have events. So that's what the building is. Let me just like show you guys what it looks like on the inside. So I'm gonna talk a little quietly because we're inside now, but we have like some conference rooms here and I'll show you what like our main lecture room looks like. Uh, so this is our classroom. We are at a lunch break right now, so no one's here. So we luckily, am, I'm luckily able to kind of like show you what it looks like. But I tend to kind of sit either in the second row when I have assigned seating, or if I can choose, I kind of stay at the back here to hide a little bit. Uh, but this is where we kind of spend at least half of our day, at least for the summer, um, because uh, this is kind of the only. This is like the built pretty much for the lauder class. I think there might be somewhere around 75. Uh, chairs or something like that and that's how many like usually are in the lauder classes each year um, So yeah, this is where I spend at least half my days in the summer All right, so now we're gonna go into Huntsman Hall, which is actually where I think we might have most of our classes But I haven't had any classes in here in here yet, but um, let's go take a look inside to see what it looks like So here's the main area I guess I think this is like one of the better known uh, Wharton kind of building interiors, I guess. Um, but... uh, so now we're still at Huntsman, but kind of in the outdoor patio-ish area. And I wanted to just spend some time now talking about my, a few things, but first uh, my experience so far this past month um, if you guys watched my first video when I came to MBA school about my first week at Wharton, uh, I mentioned a few things, but one of them was that things just come at you so quickly during that first month of your MBA. And I can't believe that it's already been a, uh, you know, a month almost um, since I've been here because I like settled into Philadelphia, I got used to being coming a student again after like six, seven years of not being a student, taking uh, final exams, reading uh, or not always reading a ton of um, pages for homework and like even having homework to begin with. And it's been, uh, you know, I came into this whole experience not really sure if I was gonna be able to finish out the entire MBA experience or even want to, because uh, to be quite honest, you know, I'm running Rare Liquid as a business at the same time, right? And so now though, after these past, this past month, you know, I feel like I met people I really like and want to develop relationships with. And as I mentioned earlier, there's 800 more people and there's gonna be so many more people that I can um, kind of create relationships with, become friends with, go on amazing experiences and travel together, or experience amazing things while traveling together. And so um, I, th I do think I, there's so much value just personally, um, not just pro professionally, but personally that I feel like I can grow from this entire MBA experience. Um, and, you know, touching a little bit upon like balancing Rare Liquid and uh, at the MBA experience, you know, it, it has been a little tough. I've been, Every few hours after class, um, I take a bit of a rest and then I just work on Rare Liquid for a few hours. And then on the weekends, I also uh, spend some time, uh, most of my time really working on Rare Liquid stuff. And I would say that, you know, I think if anyone wants to come to an MBA program, uh, I do think there are, it's ideal if you don't have another kind of business going on um, because I do sacrifice a good amount of social life. That's kind of how I 
um, justify doing both a business and MBA at the same time. I've decided like Monday to Thursday, I'm, maybe I'll have a class, a dinner with friend here and there, but norm, um, throughout most of Monday to Thursday, I just plan to just work, um, whether it's on school or Rare Liquid. And then during the weekends, Friday through Sunday, um, Wharton, a great thing about it is actually Fridays you get off completely. So I'm planning to probably work a lot on Rare Liquid on Fridays and then probably one of Saturday or Sunday as well. And I probably will also have to sacrifice a good number of class trips that a lot of my classmates are taking. Uh, maybe it's like just for the weekend or maybe it's for like an entire week. But um, in order to kind of keep the business going, I'm going to have to sacrifice some of those things. And it's something that I'm like pretty okay with. Uh, so look forward to a lot more great content. I'm going to be doing my best to uh, showcase more of the school, kind of give you more insights about the actual program. Let me know down in the comments below um, what you kind of enjoyed most, if any, and because, you know, I'm, this is my first time really like going to school and filming about it. And so it'd be great to just hear what you guys are interested in. I'll, I'll do my best to make those types of videos because someone said in my previous video, like, hey, you're kind of just talking. The format is a little boring and I want to see more campus. So here we are making a campus video. So I do listen to the uh, constructive feedback and the comments and uh, hope, hope to catch you all in the next video. Thanks so much guys and peace out.